this afternoon. Right, there's the big hangar. The big barrage balloon hangar. Through there. Like I said, they kept it to have big hangars because they kept them inflated. Welcome to the Paul at Hams Wetland Wildlife Site. This, the Hams is an area of land in an oxbow bend of the River Parrot. Natural habitats of animals and birds, designated a site of special scientific interest in 1989. Right, so now I'm going to explore a lane I haven't done. I've just come down there from the River Parrot that way. Now we're going up this one. The Parrot is only just up there on the bank. Basically, I'm going back to my to Alberta. following this little track, which will take me out onto the river in a minute. If not, you follow the road up and you climb up and you go on the top of the hill there. We should, there are some beautiful views up the top there. I did that last year. But this year we'll go back along by the river. we just explore this little bit of a track because this is a small walk you can do. If you just wanted to do a small circular, to pull it I mean not around the big loop the bigger one would be come out here and do what I've just done or you could just do pull it and come out here for a little bit of a wander <sighs> yeah my legs are feeling a little bit tired I mean I, I've been doing a lot of walking over the last month um, I've intensified my walking <laughs> to get every all the areas in which I can't do in the summer because of cows. So what I've been doing is trying to get as many in as I can where I know there are walks I like but I will not do them when the cows are out. I've got other things I do in the summer, other places I go, <clears throat> Quantock Hills for example, um, I do more churches, you know, go and video churches and that sort of thing, um, I do family tree stuff, I'll go off in my camper van, um, and of course when I go off sometimes I don't know, I don't always know the lie of the land if you like. So I take risks, I take many risks when I go away because I don't know the area so well. <sighs> yeah, I've got long wood to do because that's going to be full of bluebells and wild garlic. I've got that to do soon. Yeah, I think this will be enough today after I've done this little bit. So you can get over a gate there and just walk up to the bank. But uh, I'll carry on doing it this way. So I need to explore this route. Anyway, I need to explore this route. It says danger on that. I wonder why it's dangerous to go in there. Maybe there was a bull in there. Maybe they have a bull warning you, you see. I had a danger sign in red on there. Yeah, we're already almost there. Look. Oh, is that a roof I can see? Is that a roof or a gate? Sometimes it's hard to tell. I ain't got my glasses on. Yeah, and I've just got to walk back over there towards the church. 
I've got to go right the way over to that church here in a minute. Which I left about three hours ago. And there's the riverbank just up there. On top hills, I can see a, a heron. Hold on, let me just zoom in. Oh, I think he's flown away, cheeky bugger. He saw me zooming in on him, he's gone. He was just there on the bank and he's flown off. They suddenly do that, you know, herons. They can be there and they are quite clumsy and then they just take off. By the time I got the zoom in on him, he'd gone. Yeah, it's quite calm here, isn't it? It's funny, I can't, I can't see if that's a road or is that the bank of the, the river there? Must be. There's the hangar. Like I said, the barrage balloons would have been up here while they did their experiments in the war. So it's only a little tiny walk, this one, isn't it? Compared to that... I've just covered the whole of that mass in front of you. All that mass, I've walked around it. A mass of green. Uh, I've done that twice in my life now. I say it's not something I'll be doing that often. I've got loads of walks to fit in. I don't want now I've done this so that's my main cow ones done now. That's my main cow ones done. <sighs> All the ones over Cheddar you see, there's a lot of cows around Cheddar now. I noticed they never used to have them all over the place up there um, but on um, the, the north side there's a lot of cows now and they come they're all around the gate they they go everywhere on that side of the gorge if you want to avoid them now you have to you won't be able to go through piney slights you have to go up um the south side of the gorge and then up Black Rock but even Black Rock they do sometimes have cows in that walkway up there I don't know what the video is going to turn out like if they're going to be shaky I've got no idea I've just videoed this because uh it's just, I'm coming out where I passed earlier. I looked down at this gate and thought I'll come back up there. See? Yeah, I decided to go back the river way. To the church. And I've just got to walk back. Just got to walk back now. Not really far. It's not really far at all. And earlier I walked all round there. Right round the loop. Right round. So I come right over there, White Cummage. And then right round here. Okay, so I've done that great big circle. And now, we're on the way back. It's not been too bad for the photography. We always got wind here. And we have had some blue sky. 
which does help with the photographs. I can't see nobody walking this. Nobody at all. Like I said, I could have gone past the hangar, climbed up that hill, there's a little lane, and walked along the top back into the village. But I did that last year. I just decided to walk back this way. I've already done loads of photos. The wind can't decide if it wants to be in front or behind. It's coming from the side. But you get a sort of a picture as I'm walking along. I think I'm on. Yeah. It's a good job I came out when I did because um, the weather has changed. It's supposed to be horrible tomorrow. You see, Saturday was a nice day when they said it was going to be horrible. So I, mind you, I was really aching that day. I was really aching that day because of those boots. And no, no heel supports. I'm surprised I can walk. I mean, I'm still suffering from that walk actually because of that wearing Wellington boots on a big hike. Not a good idea. They don't support your feet very well, and I am suffering a bit today. <coughs> but I've got my proper walking boots on with heel, proper heel supports. So I'm, I'm just really taking my time, really. There we go. It's Bridgewater will be right over there, of course. Looking back at the river there. Yes, going out. You can see it's dropped. The level's dropped. It's a big river, isn't it, really? And of course, when it's right up, it'll be lapping up here. You see? It can come right up to this pathway. And it looks massive when it does that. It looks massive. Right, what's happening in the world? I haven't been paying a lot of attention to world news lately. I have been very occupied doing other stuff. Like I've been um, upgrading discs of my... Um, family tree stuff, transferring it and, and, and updating the to newer discs. And uh, I've been doing a bit of that. Of course, if you get on Facebook, I've got various groups I belong to on that. You can get stuck talking to people on that for hours. You know what I mean? You can read the paper on there, you can read articles, you can watch videos on there, history videos, you know, all sorts, and you just get caught up with it. I have to be very strict and I have a very quick look just to see if there's any messages. Then I have to come off it. That is very addictive. And I'm not talking about just idle chat. I get into um, all sorts of debates on there. Yes, I do, indeed. Yeah, I've got quite a way to go yet. I'm going all the way over to the cottages, look. I won't be going through the cottage gardens this time. I'll take the other route when I get close to them. But it's a pleasant walk. It's a pleasant walk, there's no um, pressure. No pressure. Over and out of a minute. 